welcome to the beautiful island of La Maddalena here in Sardinia in Italy. I mean, look at these waters. I keep saying that I'm blown away by the beauty of the beaches and the color of the water in Sardinia. And uh, you know what? It never ceases to disappoint me. And I'm going to do a quick video. I'm just going around La Magdalena. I'm discovering as part of my first impressions and uh, sharing a bit the scenery and some drone shots so you can get a sense of uh, what Sardinia has to offer in case you're considering it. So um, if you're ready, here we go. La Magdalena is located off the northeastern coast of Sardinia. The island is easily accessible from the nearby town of Palau, which is an hour drive from the airport in Olbia. You then take a short ferry across to the island, where you'll find yourself in a world where time seems to stand still, allowing you to embrace the island's captivating beauty at your own pace. So I just got out the ferry, virtually drove five minutes and I already pulled over the car. This is beautiful beach. I decided, well, you know what? Let me have a look with the drone, how it looks. And look at this. I mean, the water, I think, you know, maybe I'll do like a drone 4K video with some music. It's just so beautiful. So anyways, gonna head back to the car and, uh, you know, share it on, keep driving. So here we go. I just walked out of the car and uh, one of the things you'll notice is uh, we're in June, mid-June, and look at this, you know, La Maddalena. Now this place can be packed, packed in the summer, but the reality is uh, if you come in June or even September, you can really have, you just drive out, there's no problem with the parking uh, and you just have these beaches, you know, there's what, six, seven people. And there's so many beaches and so peaceful, but what's stunning is just these colors. So uh, that's one of the nice things I like about Sardinia is, you know, just the fact that you can come and there's so many options and it's, you know, if you're not during the high July, August season, you really can have, you know, just so many options of beaches. I mean, look at this. One of the things you have is these beautiful little restaurants, uh, just so many of them, just overlooking the water. You just come in and grab a little bite. I mean, you want to look at a view? Check this out. That's crazy. Now, I must admit that I have a problem. Uh, you know, I always love photography, videography, and uh, beautiful places, you know, since I was young and traveling. And when I come to a place like this, I, I'm gonna stop the car every two minutes and go and walk and take photos and videos. And it's just, the colors are incredible. I mean, let me just stand up right here and look around. I mean, come on, just. It's just incredible. So uh, I'm gonna show you a bit, uh, just the colors you can find here and this type of scenery. So uh, check this out. Well, I could spend hours here exploring. One thing I love is you have these rocks so you can kind of find a spot just for yourself. There's some ladies sitting out there on this giant rock. It's just 
by herself. Imagine you just come and meditate or listen to some music or read, go for a swim. Such a peacefulness. But I'm here to explore the island. And uh, so we're gonna head back to the car and keep driving and see what uh, the Magdalena has to offer. More surprises like this. I mean, I'm not even five minutes away from the main city. So, all right, back to the car. Just parked the car and uh, arriving at Calla, Cala Francesa, French beach. And uh, one thing is it makes sense here to rent a SUV uh, because the road sometimes you can get, if you have you know tires that are really not that high, you can really damage the rims. And look, the car's right there. And look what I've got. Look at this. I mean, I basically walked a drill of like three minutes from the last beach and another beautiful spot. Let's check this out. We've got a problem if i keep stopping i'm never going to make it around the island it's actually quite a big island so anyways gonna head back in the car and keep doing the tour You have these nice little snack bars just overlooking the water and actually it's really reasonable if you look at the prices uh, you know if you have a look at here you know some of the hot um, you know um, burgers and things you're getting hamburger for four euros 50 or with chorizo and tomato uh, going for 550 and you can just see here so uh, really nice Another beautiful little beach behind me here. Uh, just a little, you know, bar restaurant area to get some food grabbed out. And again, I mean, look at this. It's really nice. Not so busy. Uh, just a beautiful water. It has a bit more wind now, and the optimist picked up on this side. So I'm gonna head over to the other coast, where it looks like uh, it'll be more protected. So uh, I'm gonna head back up. It's a beautiful sand dunes around. Just look at this. eastern side and uh, it's a bit of wind but a bit less so I'm uh, gonna stop and uh, grab a little bite look at this just beautiful Well, 
I uh, always thought that uh, La Magdalena might be, you know, best by boat, right? Because there's all these beaches you can only access by boat. But in fact, the road around is really great. You have beach after beach after beach, small parking, lo parking lots, places by the road you can stop. Uh, and, you know, you have like a little beach over there and then you have a little beach over here and then another little beach over there. So you have really just tons and tons of places on this island. And I didn't realize how beautiful it was. I mean, I had seen photos and, you know, I knew it was very popular, but uh, super excited, you know, when you're investing in real estate here and you realize you got this just incredible, incredibly beautiful place. So uh, I'm gonna keep now exploring uh, the east side of the island. So uh, try to keep checking out the beaches and the beautiful places. So back to the car. Well, I'm in the town of La Maddalena and here's we have the ferries. They go like every 15 minutes, it's super convenient. Just drive on. Um, one ferry just left, there's a second one. Evening. And uh, you have the town here and there's, you know, nice little streets, uh, little restaurants, kind of old style. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around a little bit and uh, get a bit of a sense uh, of uh, La Maddalena, of the town. So let's walk in. Cute little restaurants right here, these little side streets. Uh, you know, it's a bit, it's a mix of the old building. I like the colors, you know, the ochres, the kind of pastels. Uh, it's not, you know, there's a bit of a, a, a sense of not the newest. Uh, and you know, my favorite everywhere I go somewhere is doing this, check out the real estate offices and seeing apartments. What do they have? Anything with sea view? Here we go. Little apartment, sea in the distance, 360 euros. Woo, it's a bit pricey. Uh, I imagine it gets completely crazy in the summer, like packed and the streets get full. But uh, you know, it's a nice space, uh, having a little town here if you want a bit of life and it's so close to all the beaches, you know? By the time all the people arrive with the ferries, you, know, you can get out there early, get your private little spot in the beach. But uh, yeah, it's got lots of charm, it's really cute. Oh, look at this, with the flowers on the floor. Beautiful church, lots of little streets going up in different corners. So yeah, it's the first time I discover La Maddalena and uh, it's got some character. Nice, you have uh, all the yachts, the catamarans just moored here. Everybody having an aperitif at the end of the day, having a little beer, a little glass of champagne. Nice, I guess that's hashtag boat life. Real nice little area, and uh, 
on the water. So it's a quaint little town. It's got a, some character. It's a bit, a little bit chaotic, but uh, you know, little piazzas, little restaurants. I think uh, it could be really nice to, you know, come for a night or two. It's a little places to eat right here on the port. All right, time to head out on the east side of the island and check out uh, the water, the beaches over there. I'm on the east side now um, and uh, the wind has picked up so it's a little bit um, hard and some clouds that came over so can't really fly the drone but uh, this side typically is better protected from the wind although wow when that wind picks up you don't really see on the other side all these little harbors but here you have these beautiful little areas with all the little boats you can see like right here you can see behind me and uh, it's all protected and you have here an island it's called um, Isola Giardinera and you have a little beautiful beach up there called uh, Spiaggia, la, Spiaggia del Porticciolo so uh, you can see you have all these little inlets and the color is incredible but woo, feel that wind yeah so I'm turning this way anyways uh, what an incredible place it's just beautiful uh, I can imagine you know just uh, you know, renting a little place or staying in a hotel, having a car, even some people have some electric bikes going around the island, super smart. And you know, it looks distant, it's not far at all. So you can really pop from one beach to the other. So, uh, well, I'll definitely be coming back, but so excited. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, well, make sure you uh, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in uh, many more future videos. Thanks for watching.